Welcome back to Papa's Barn. How many of you guys store your chain on the front of your tractor? I do, or at least I did. Would it be nice to have something that we can store our chain out of the way that's always there available for it? It's not under our hands and feet. Let me show you what I've done. Show you where I'm gonna put my chain. Out of sight and out of mind. Let me show you a little closer view of it. Here's a little closer view of it. I mean, that mounts to the side of my eye match. That's out of my way. It stores, it holds, there's a pin right here. The top of it holds on a pin. So it can move, it can't move up and down. I've got a bracket the side supports it on the side so it can't go in and out nice and solid nice and sturdy I don't have a lid on it right now but I'm gonna make a lid at a later time to put on this let's go and make one let's talk about my material the material is not really super important you can use what you want there's no load-bearing weights going to be on it it's just basically a container so I've got a four inch by four inch thin wall square tubing it's 12 inches long. I got some strap material, 2 inches by 5 inches, 11 gauge thickness. I've also got the 12 gauge or 14 gauge material we'll use here today for the little bear. It doesn't really matter. This is going to be in my bottom. You can use whatever you want. Let's go ahead and lay it out. The first thing I want to do is make my bottom tray. So I need to take a measurement inside of my tubing. So it looks like my inside of my tubing is a little shy of uh, three inches and three quarter. So my square I need is going to be short of three and three quarter inches. Let's go ahead and measure this out. So what happens I got a line right here, three and three quarter. So I want to add another one at three and three quarter. And these are just rough lines right now because we're going to actually fit it to size. So I'm using a speed square to protect, uh, extend my lines. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use my right angle grinder and a cutoff wheel and I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and I'll be right back. So I've cut my piece off with my fiber saw. I belt sanded the edges, trimmed the corners a little bit so it'll fit tight into the radiuses. Now you see it'll fit inside nice and easy. So what I want to do, I want to permit, I want to keep water from building up inside of it from snow melting or rain. So I'm going to go ahead and find the center of here. I'm going to take and drill me a hole for clearance. Again, I'm going to use my speedy square. And I'm going to go quarter and a quarter. Mark me a line. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just somewhere near. So there's my center. Take my center punch. Get me a little hammer out. I'm going to go ahead and mark my center. I'll go ahead and drill it and I'll be right back. As you can see, I got it tacked up. I'm MIG welding it. So I got a little splatter on it. I'm going to go ahead and finish welding it up. Then I'll come right back. Then I'll show you that I'm going to take and grind off all the excess weld. Kind of make it look pretty. This is not really going to have to be a real strong weld. But it's something just to hold the chain or the grease gun or anything from falling through. As you can see, I got it all watered around the corners. I'm going to take a flap wheel now on my right angle grinder. And I'm going to smooth all this out and kind of make it look nice. It doesn't have to be, but I want to make sure all the burrs are off. And it'll look nice to me. Be right back. Okay, and now I've got it ground smooth. Now you don't have to do this. I just have to be it. I'm an anal person. I like making it look nice for myself. I know what it's underneath the tractor or, or where it's at. And I want it to look good for me. Now the next thing we want to do... And we want to mount our brackets on the side. Now my particular tractor 
I've got a seven-way plug that I use for my trailer. If I want to take and do a hay ride with my grandkids, I can tie in my four-way flasher with my trailer. I'll show you a picture here in a minute of that. But the problem I have, I can't be as high as I was on the other one. So I'm going to have to go out and take a measurement, and I'm going to slow, uh, take it down a lot lower than I was before. Now what I did before on the other one, I laid out my line. It's 5 eighths of an inch from the center. This is 2 inches wide, so it's an, an inch to the center. I've laid this one out also, but I took, instead of using a drill press, I use a multi-step bit and my hand drill and I drill it out and I'm going to do the same thing on this then I'm going to bolt it together I'm going to lay out a radius on it then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to belt sand that radius to take all the burrs off that way we're not going to get our fingers cut or snagged or heaven forbid one of my grandkids get cut and I have to face the music of my wife so let me go ahead and drill the hole let me get both these together lay the radius out belt sand it and I'm going to go get a measurement off my tractor where this needs to be at and I'll show you where I'm going to lay it and I'm going to tack it up and we'll water it up and we'll almost be done. I almost forgot to show you my seven way plug. Now what I did, I made it and I drilled and tapped holes into my frame and now I'm not concerned it's going to weaken it. But I made a pigtail that comes up and I actually put another seven way plug on the tractor so I can disconnect that when I want to if I want to take my eye match off but it actually makes a real nice setup especially if you want to do hay rides so I've got my braces radius and drilled out I went out and I measured the distance that I have from the bottom there's a pin to the bottom of my seven-way plug and I'll show you that later if you guys are doing hay raids I'd encourage you to put a seven way plug on your tractor for the four way flasher. So I need to measure now seven inches from the bottom draw me a line. Then I'll go ahead and transfer this line all the way around and I know I'm going to be a little below seven inches because I don't want any air interference. Let me lay this out and I'm going to clamp it up and I'll show you how I did it. Alright I've got it clamped up. I got my seven inch mark laid out I got my bracket right against it, not over it, and so I know I'm good on the clearance. I've got what they call a 1-2-3 block stationed in, inside of it. I've got my boat in the holes where I know. I know my eye match is two inches tall, so I want this real snug when I go there so that way it's not getting any rattling. I can't stand rattling sounds. So I know my blocks are nice and tight, my bolt's in there. I know it's snug, it's not going to be moved around. Let me tack it up. I'm going to go and test it, and I'll come right back, and then I'll weld it up, then I'll show you it on the, on the tractor. There you go. Now I need a little paint. Now if you want to stick your grease gun in there, store it out of the way. You want to put your tools in there. Now I'm eventually going to make a cap. They'll slide over to protect the grease from the grease gun, from the air and the dirt. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. But again, thank you for joining the Papa's Barn. Please join, subscribe, and like, and in the comments make suggestions of future videos you want me to do or things I could do to improve my videos for you. Have a nice evening.